We're here with Stanford basketball assistant coach Adam Cohn, and we are talking about Robert Cartwright, who, needless to say, has had more than his share of a roller coaster ride in his career at Stanford. And he enters his fourth year on campus, if I'm not mistaken. Um, may not be his final year, but where is he right now in terms of when you guys first met him a year ago? You know, Robert is as interesting of a person and player as I've been around in, in coaching. And I've known Robert since I was an assistant coach at Rice University um, six, seven years ago. And Robert is a kid who his emotions are always on his sleeve, good and bad. He'll be the first to admit that. Um, when I was at Rice recruiting him, he visited us at Rice. Um, I also recruited him at Harvard, uh, very close to his family, uh, go way back with him. So uh, I know a lot about Robert. And we, when we first got here as a new staff last April, Robert was still not close to 100% with his, his injury with his arm. And he, uh, our first workout, he was only able to do form shooting, could hardly do ball handling. You know, so it's, it's, if you think of it like that, from April of last year, now we're, whatever, 16, 17 months, 18 months um, into our tenure here, it's amazing where he's came. And it's a type of thing that he gets, you know, we threw him in the fire last year, and he had ups and downs, no question. But at the same time, when you think about what he's gone through and how he's developed and gotten back to truly 100% now, uh, it's pretty remarkable to think about where he's came and where he's going. Uh, so Coach Schlesinger has talked about the fact that this offseason, he's definitely seen a difference in the way Robert attacks that, that portion of the program. Is that something that is showing up on the court in the limited time you guys have gotten to see him? For sure. And I think it's more Robert just getting back to who he was prior to the injury. You know, when you have an injury uh, like that that affects you in so many different ways, mentally, physically, you're not able to use your arm for a long time. You really don't know how if you're going to ever be able to play again at the level you were at, that messes with you. And I think he's finally at the point where he went through ups and downs and he's at the point where he knows that this is his opportunity and uh, he's got to make the most of it. And he's attacked every workout with a great attitude uh, as well as making other guys better and just playing the game at a level that he's capable of. And so just basketball-wise, what aspect of his game, I guess, are you the most confident that he's going to improve this year that we're going to see out on the court? We always felt like as a staff, you know, Robert had a great energy and a vibe to him. It led to energy and vibe to the rest of the team. And sometimes um, he let his scoring dictate how his energy and vibe was for the team when it didn't need to be. It, he's able to impact the game in so many different ways by getting the paint and making other guys better and being a true point guard where you're leading the team um, that we feel like we've really – made a step with him of understanding what we want as a point guard. And, yeah, he can, we want him to score, no question about that. But we also want him to be a leader and an extension of Coach Haas on the court. And I think that's the biggest change that I think we've, we've witnessed, you know, this past summer. He always seemed, just based on the eye test, as a guy with a good enough stroke that he should probably be shooting a little bit better. And I think even he has expressed, like you said, some frustration and impatience with that not being where it is. Where is his jump shot right now? No, for sure. I couldn't agree more. He, uh, you see him, I remember Washington State this past year, and he made five threes and played a great game and was really scoring the ball really well. Uh, he's an excellent shooter in drill work. The problem is, in games, he doesn't shoot the same way every time. And sometimes his footwork is off. Sometimes his extension on his arm is different. Sometimes he's falling back. And he just has a lot of things he had to tweak and lead to consistency with his shot. So he... We've been working all summer on trying to just make his shot the exact same way every time. And I think his shot, his shooting percentage should skyrocket, as well as taking better shots. You know, the, the more open shots he's going to shoot, he's, those are the ones he's got to knock down. Uh, we want him to shoot open shots, and he's got a great stroke when he's open and being able to step in and knock it down. He just needs to shoot it the same way every time. And uh, let's just go into the area of improvement for Robert. Robert overall, uh, I think he knows this better than anybody, is... He just, we just want him to be stable and solid. You know, we don't need him to get too high or too low. Um, his shooting is going to come around because he's going to take better shots. His playmaking has to be more consistent. It, it's somewhere uh, where he's really capable of it, and it's something that he could be so good at, and he's shown flashes of it. Now how often can he do that? Um, and overall, I just, we just want him to be stable, solid, 
not be too high, not be too low, and just be a guy that we can always trust out there because I think he's going to be. And just one last thing. He's obviously one of the more experienced guys now on the team. I think that missed year kind of made everyone look at him still as one of the younger guys on the team now. But how has he grown into a leadership role? Is that something you can see out on the court in terms of him relating to his teammates? Well, I think, you know, he obviously has gone through a lot, but also he played a lot of minutes last year. And when you play as many minutes as he played, uh, whether you're starting or backing up Christian, they both split about the same amount of time in the point guard spot. And he grew. He grew, you know, through time. And, and as, as you have those experiences, it automatically leads to, you know, understanding the game more, understanding what you need more. And I think in that comes confidence. And when you have confidence, then you can become a better leader. So I think he's, he's really growing and seeing all the experiences that he had last year on the court lead to more confidence, and confidence will lead to more leadership. All right. That's Stanford assistant coach Adam Cohen talking about Robert Cartwright.